everybody to the channel. So we're working on my buddy's uh, 2004 Chrysler uh, PT Cruiser. He's having a, a misfire in it, not running very well. Uh, he's on his way right now to get a set of spark plugs. I'm gonna put a plug in it. They look pretty corroded. Uh, it's an old car. Um, it really needs a valve cover gasket. It's leaking oil along the back side and whatnot. He's just trying to piece it together. Uh, once I get Project Santa Claus done, he's going to wind up buying that car from me. And uh, he's going to get rid of this car. Uh, this car is just getting him some fits and whatnot. But it's getting him by for now. So he's on his way to the store to get some plugs. We're gonna throw some fresh plugs in it and uh, go from there. And we'll see how bad the uh, miss is then. Hopefully it'll run better. Um, he indicated when he does start this up, drive it down the road, uh, it shuts off. So I'm gonna get the uh, plugs in it and go from there and hopefully it'll uh, it'll run uh well known fact i don't know if y'all know but the chrysler uh, pt cruisers and the dodge neons they all run the 2.4 liter engines they're notorious back in the day when they were new for the heads cracking on them uh he may have a bad head on this one we don't know uh, i checked the oil there's no indication of antifreeze and oil mixture the temperature don't get up over halfway so he may this head may have been replaced before so that's good on that part uh he uh i don't know but it's a little car for him and uh like i said he's gone to the store to get plugs for it and when he gets back put the plugs in we'll go from there You can see all the oil on the plugs. It
as you can tell, these plugs are real oily. Uh, his spark plug uh, gaskets that go down the cylinders there are probably no good. They were holding oil on top of the spark plug. So it was probably causing a misfire. So he's gonna go get some new plugs. We're gonna put them in. I'm gonna check the gap on these. They're supposed to be 50 inches. And let's find out how big of a gap they are. Right here. I'm gonna show you a gap here on these. But on this first one here, they're supposed to be at 50 inches. As you can tell, that one's about 30 inches. That one's about 33 34 inch gap that one's at 30 inches so I'm sure the one that he took to the store to get replacements is probably in the same uh, boat uh, this may have a reason why to it was running a little rough. Um, gap, but their plugs were not gap like they're supposed to be. So when we get the new ones, we'll gap them to where they are. And I'll show you the gap uh, spec here. As you can tell, it's 50 inches. As you can tell on our three plugs there, Two of them were 30, and the other one was about 33, 34 inches. So, he should be back here shortly with the new plugs, and we'll gap them, and we'll put them back in the car. All right, so we got the plugs back in it. I'll put back down like it's supposed to, gapped out 50 inches. As you can tell, it's running a lot cooler than it was. We need to drive it into it. I believe that solved the problem with the shaking and whatnot. As you can see, smoke from the oil that uh, drained down into the plug, down into the cylinder, where we had standing oil. So that'll burn off in a little bit. So we'll let it run for a little bit, see what happens, make sure it stays running smoothly, and that should be about it for today's video. If you like this all today, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and catch you on the next one. When I took my buddy's PT Cruiser around the block, he said it was dying on him, and uh, well, unfortunately, it died. So I'm sitting on the side of the road until the wife gets here with the truck, a pair of jumping cables. Uh, he may have a little bit more issues than just some spark plugs in this thing. So I'm going to uh, have him take the battery back, have it tested. It drains so much power out of the battery. Uh, may have to pull off the alternator too. I don't think it's going to... Uh, I don't think it's charging the battery like it's supposed to. While I did have it running, I did pull off the positive side. It did continue to run, so I didn't think nothing about the alternator being bad. So, well, I'll have to dig into that a little bit more. Uh, I did have a vacuum leak off of it uh, when it was running. And uh, 
it seemed like it was running perfect then, but it's not doing so good right now. So let me uh, call and see where they're at. I called them a few minutes ago and I'm right down the damn road from the house. So I don't know, but I'll give you the update here in a minute. 